I want to say that the game is still so misogynistic because I just heard about this um, comedy festival that my dear friend 50 is having like right now. And I haven't seen the paperwork. I don't know. But from what I have heard, there's not a, I was, on, I, people I know were on planes flying to where it's taking place. And there were several comedians on the plane, but not one female comic, not one. Now this may be mistaken. This is the information I've gotten. And and I and I love 50. I did power book ghost book two. Uh I know he's a comedy fan, but there are men and women in the audiences at these shows. So I think that fair representation only makes sense. Now, other people might argue that there's no females really generating heat right now. I know that I am because of the sellout crowds that I get. However, I was not asked to participate, number one, and I'm booked and busy anyway. I couldn't do it. Just like these dates I have been on the books. I'm in Philly. I can't be in two places at the same time. So I'm not swollen. When I speak for women, I'm not speaking for me. I'm talking about female comics, period. You right. know, my sister's in the game, whether you think they suck or whether they don't. I'm speaking for them, to me. Uh, I think that is a very hurtful thing that you mean to tell me in the United States of America, there's not one female comic that's worthy to be on the festival, not a, not a Takara, not a, not a Yvonne Orji, not a Zainab Johnson, not a Vanessa Fraction, not, not nobody. And I found, I actually found the, uh, the flyer. Uh, it's called the Big Bowl Comedy Show. Um, he has Andrew Schultz on there, Bill Bellamy, Chico Bean, DC, Young Fly, Earthquake, Gary Owen, Haha ha Davis, JJ Williamson, Cat Williams, Lavelle Crawford, uh, Landon Brown, Matt Reif, uh, Michael Blackson, Nate Jackson. Um, and I don't see not one female comedian. So what do you tell? I don't make. I don't make. I don't make this stuff. You know. Yeah, yeah. Do you tell Fifty? I mean, in case he was watching this, do you tell him like, hey, like, because if point, he's watching, I would say, yo, bro, that's kind of hurtful. Yo, yo, yo! It's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and you can rest the show that Fifty Cent is most definitely watching, and he caught wind of this. As I had a link in the description where y'all can watch that in full at on Comedy Hype YouTube channel when Lil Nell just appeared on there for an interview and everything like that. And she spoke on 50 Cent event that went down this past weekend in Shreveport, Human Harmony and everything like that. And he just got the production studio out there for the people that don't know. He got a lot of things going on in the film industry now. He building and growing and everything like that. But she pointed out one thing and 50 Cent just coming off celebrating, having a success event turned the street port all the way up and they had a whole lot of people out there it was going down and not one violent incident so he riding off the high of that and everything was promoting that part of it when well, he caught wind of this from lunel and said proof of you can't make everybody happy i love lunel's work that's why i had to put her in ghost we saw her big a was booked already so we didn't reach out you think i didn't want monique some more or Amy Schumer, they on fire. What the F? At Branson Cognac, at Leecher Medore. So he was like, hey, it was women I did try to get up on here to come work, but they was already booked and stuff like that. And he said, I done reached out to you and put you on one of my shows personally. I haven't seen 50 Cent last year after Taraji P. Hitcher that came out was speaking about letting her team go because they didn't capitalize off of what she had put, uh, what she had did with her show and everything like that. Well, nah, come on, Taraji, let's do some work now and everything like that. And 50 Cent didn't even reach out to Monique before when she was going through everything that she was going through and put Monique in one of his shows. So it's just 
stamped and approved that he will bring a woman in to work and everything like that. 50 Cent is not discriminating in Lunell. I think she got to think at times like, hey, even if he didn't have a female on this lineup and everything, that wasn't a thing of him excluding women or saying women ain't got the right to be here. 50 like, hey, I was looking to get you on here and other women on here that was tied up or they was booked or they couldn't be there at this point in time. But even if it's female comedians that's dope or not, 50 Cent ain't never been the one to say, hey, man, I ain't going to hire a woman or we not going to include women in being in the star power. So to attach that to his name, that's probably why he went at her like that. Because he's like, hold on, Lunel, I didn't book you personally as a woman and got you on my thing. So to even put me in that light in that situation, and this is my event. This is my first time doing this in Shreveport. I got a lot of investment going on. We celebrating the holidays, and you come on and you give this type of opinion and she might not think of it that way, but it ain't always some sexist stuff going on. It ain't that, oh, we don't want to include women. Sometimes people's schedules be off, and sometimes it just don't work out in the line. But if you have seen 50 before in the past work with women, then you can't think that that's a thing for him. And even if he did drop the ball, you know it wasn't intentionally done. It don't got to get turned into that. Now, Lunel, she doing her stuff. Like she say, she booked and she couldn't make it anyway. And I understand what she trying to get at. She trying to say, hey, man, it would have been dope to see the women now. But when you get on a big platform and say it, it's going to get carried that way. And the headlines and the titles going to read. And it's going to make 50 feel like, well, hold on, dog. I just spent 500000 out here to keep these people safe. Not an incident. We had a successful weekend, all the way lit, turked up. I booked women plenty of times before. I have no problem having women at these events. I've been doing this. And for you to come out and make it seem like we didn't include the women in this attached to my name, 50 Cent go turn up and feel a way about it. But he just threw the little jab at her. He know that Lunell can take the joke and him going back at her, but he had to speak up for himself for that moment. He going to use it to promote as well. But tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.